Hello everyone, if you like the videos and content I do, please look in the description below. This will take you to my Patreon page, where you become a patron starting at $1 per month to help support you with what I do. Without further ado, enjoy. This is a cool map. And we won. Just barely, but we won. Holy shit. I backed up. I was like, my senses are tingling. I should retreat. As soon as I backed up, this round went right in front of me. Good senses. This unit needs to retreat. Yeah, shit. <laughs> God damn, I was about to get a free shot on an enemy. Yeah, I got to the drop up quicker than me. <laughs> the test drive expires in one minute. Please get a game. Awesome. Nice. One last game with the Calliope. And then it's back to just under tier two for Americans. I've been literally using the Calliope just to uh, rapidly tear up through early tier. <laughs> Went from tier 0 to almost tier 2 in one hour. Yep. Shot me. Oh, God, it's behind me. Run! Damn. I got trapped. Welcome back. Oh, holy shit. How long have you guys been talking? A lot. Yeah, Why? I haven't heard anything in like the past hour of a semi-dick around the ultimate apocalypse. 
Haven't heard a word come out of chat. I was like, damn, the back You of might not have Discord running as administrator. No. Um, even when I logged out of uh, Soulstorm, I was sitting here browsing through other stuff, and then I happened to look up, and I'm like, wait a minute, these steps lighten up. Nothing's coming through. Ooh. It was just Discord being fucking like sometimes. Yeah. Does it be like that sometimes? Discord a bitch. This is also true. Discord is also bipolar. Yep. Yep. Like a woman. All women are bi. It's your job to figure out. Over or sexual. Or both. That stray shot I just randomly threw in the sky, hit that plane, I would have just flipped out. Oh. Challenging me? When you're in a plane and I'm really good at shooting down planes, you you don't want to challenge me. Unless you're a bomber that's really high in the sky and I can't reach you. And by all means, challenge me. That's the matter. The matter of War Thunder. I'm really good at planes in War Thunder. I'm really good at shooting down planes as a tank in War Thunder. When it comes to actually shooting other tanks, I just suck at it. Mm. I'm slowly getting better, but god, it's not near as fast as planes were. Does anybody remember the old game way back in the day? Battle tanks. Nope. I know World of Tanks. I don't know, this way predates World of Tanks. No. Atari Battle game? Tanks. No, not that far. Okay. No, to be fair, Ace, when you say way back in the day, half the time I wasn't even alive. This is also true. You old motherfucker. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. Now there was this arcade game I played way back in the day. That is not a friendly... <laughs> Hats off to you, sir. Well done. Well fucking done. Armless, legless, faceless thing. Like a turd in the wind. I love that trailer. For Venom. That game was so fucking fun. It's actually what World of Tanks is built off of this concept. I'll link the video in the Discord if you get a chance to watch it. Oh yeah, the other game I asked you guys about before. And you guys said you never heard of it. 
Madge probably is trying to listen. Madge, you remember the old game, Vigilante 8? No. <laughs> you wanna know that's great about the Calliope? I, all I literally did was put smoke rounds in it. And then I used the uh, rocket Calliope to absolutely just annihilate everyone. Close the distance and then point blank with the rockets. Nice. Absolutely evil. There was an arcade version called Vigilante of Vigilante 8. Came out in uh, 2008. Nothing like the original game, it was just an arcade mode. Ah, uh, almost had that guy. Oh shit. Bombs almost got me. <laughs> you got him. He tried to come because of me and I blew him in half. I uh, took a uh, third on the leaderboard. That was like my first good game in a while. Yeah, I do not envy you whatsoever. It's only got 22,000 hits. Average zombie has what? 100? Something like that. Yeah. Trying That's to find the fine. fucking secret base. Damn it. So I spent the night walking through the irradiated zone fighting demonic uh, zombies. Surprisingly, did not die one. Well. Frostpunk just got added to the uh, Game Pass for PC. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw that. You know, this this secret base is very, very well hidden. I'm, I'm going to give. There's a game that I should probably play for. that's on the Game Pass as well. I know if I mention the name of the game, I know two people in this chat that are like, yep, you, you should download that play for that. Hmm, which two people would that be? <clears throat> what game is Middle it? Earth? Middle Earth Shadow of War. Oh, yep. yeah. Yep, that's indeed correct. That Completely. game... It's awesome. You know, surprisingly, with the Game Pass, do you know what is that? Well, with Microsoft Sony and Game Pass, you know it's available to be played on PC now? The Gears of War series. So oh, nice. Gears of War, eh, it's okay. 
First few games, amazing. Halo Wars 1 and 2 are available. play as well. Halo Wars 1, okay, 2, I, I don't know. I heard it's shit. I heard it was crap on uh, consoles, but I haven't tried it on PC, so I don't know. You know what's really sad is I've got the Game Pass and the game that really has me the most excited about Game Pass is Faster Than Light. And it's probably the cheesiest looking game on there. For anyone who's not familiar with what Faster Than Light is, uh, it's one of those roguelites but it's a space sim where you pick your ship and you, it's all turn based until you get into a fight. And then you have to move your crew around, you can get boarded, fight against ships, you have to, you know, you can focus fire to take out shields, weapon systems, things like that. Super cheesy, all done in like 8 bit. Atari, or actually even less than 8 bit. By the way, David, I'm ready to join squad. Alright, when this game's over, I'll join you. Turn, you son of a bitch! Ah. Hey, you know what else is on here? 3.7, right? Yep, 3.7. I'm trying to survive right now. Yep, I get it. Enter the gungeon. Hey, I'll play Enter the gungeon with you if you play it. I'll hard pass. Oh, I will God damn it, I am being bullied right now. Can this guy save me? Oh, one guy tried. Oh no, he actually succeeded. Wasteland 3 actually looks pretty good. I have been thinking about that, but <laughs> at the same time, I'm kind of just like, do I really want to? Dude, if you want to play it, I'm telling you, just sign up for the Game Pass, for the uh, beta, PC Game Pass. So many games available on the Game Pass. Wasteland 3 is one of them. Halo Master Chief Collection is one of them. They've got a lot of really good games on here. Metro Exodus is one of them, so the entire Metro series on it. The entire Age of Empires series is on there. Hell, the entire Age of series. You get, like I said, if you get into the dungeon, I'll play it with you. I will warn you, that game is very hard. Oh, I know. I've watched enough people play it. I won't play that game. No, I'm really not trying to get myself involved in the other game right now. I'm kind of dedicating myself to Crow Ball.
up most of the games I'm looking at that are on Game Pass are all single player games that I can play during downtime between the sieges and shit. That's a fun game. That is a very fun game. Some of the games that are on Game Pass kind of have weird. It's like, wow, that's on Game Pass? Because the way that I ended up getting four months of Xbox, well, uh, Microsoft Game Pass was when I did my uh, Discord Nitro. We don't have for signing up for Nitro, I got a three month pass. And for signing up for the Game Pass on Windows, they give you, they gave me a free month to go with it. So I ended up getting four months for 15 bucks. What do they got to play? A strategy games? Phoenix Point. City Stone. Mutant Year Zero, of course. That's actually a pretty good game for what it was. <laughs> Space Hulk Tactics. <laughs> Into the Breach. That's what I was looking at. I don't know much about it though. Let's watch the trailer. What? No way, I want to see that bullshit. I didn't even see him. I was even looking that direction. Damn. That's a good game. That is a really good game. It's a really long fucking game, though. No. Oh, yeah. Well, you did. Battletech, tabletop style in general is a long game, no matter how you slice it. Mm -hmm. Even a single game takes a long time. Believe me, I know. <laughs> we thought that the other night when Rap spent four hours shopping. Star Wars. No, that right there is like you do all the <coughs> shots in Battletech and re outfit between sessions. Mm hmm. That's how long it takes. God, with, with Battletech, holy. You know, I would. If we ever get tired of doing the Star Wars roleplay, I would love to do a Battletech roleplay. That I could get behind. Everyone, uh,. Has their own mech. You're part of a lance. I'm running an atlas. If you can afford it, go for it. But no one's starting with a hundred tonner. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I want a Nova, and I'm hey, calling it Gazer Beam. Back before you guys got into Mech Warrior uh, online, back when it was still in like alpha beta stages, I played for the for the lance. And I ran an atlas because the uh, tier we were in wouldn't allow for anything over 50 tons. The atlas, when you strip all the parts and weapons and engine off of it by default, is only 35 tons. Just the frame. Y you know what's funny? That's actually not how Battletech is supposed to be. I know. The, the ton system, each mech is like several thousand tons. 
the problem is is that the tonnage rating is supposed to once you strip out all the equipment and all that that's how much available equipment is able to be equipped on that mech that includes gyros um electronic warfare reactor engine all that shit yeah but the weight uh, what they were going by is the actual equipment weight that you have on it. Yep. The because amount of equipment. I, I thought it was going to be the old way, you know, by the standard battle tech. So when I jumped in the first time in my little spider, and I came across an atlas that just <laughs> melted me, I was like, the fuck? Because you can have a top tier spider running around in under 50 bracket. Easy. Yeah, easily. Though, my personal favorite is the AC-20 Centurion. <laughs> Hi, Spider. Boom. Cord. Hey. Problem Hi, Centurion. Locust. Boom. Cord. Problem Centurion. Centurion has, it has slightly top-heavy. So the one thing that you have to be careful of against a spider with that, that you don't have to worry about with the Atlas, because the uh, Centurion has weak leg armor. The spider can keep going around you with burst lasers and just burst down your legs and you're fucked. That's true. And in Battletech, with, with Battletech rules, yeah, you'd have to worry about that. But in MechWarrior Online, I would just instant quorum because and now my personal favorite that I ran for a long time and I couldn't run it when I came back playing with you guys but I would run a uh, catapult with uh, LRMs right did you do dual LRM 15s or dual LRM 20s keep going Oh, wait, that, was, that was the highest that you could do when y'all were playing, wasn't it? On a catapult. I mean, you can go with two LRM-15s, two LRM-20s. <laughs> but, and that's a total of uh, LRM-70. But LRM-20 is the biggest single deal they, they have. I'm trying to remember what I ran. I had, I know I was using LRMs. I had four mounts, so I was running quad LRM. It was literally just a missile boat. That's it. I just sat back behind our entire line. Um, I had one of the guys in our lamps. He would run a laser scanner, mark targets for me, while I would right. sit on the back in a uh, crevice and just fire LRMs. And I had the full extended range uh, lock on and everything, so I could lock on at like over right at a thousand meters away. I remember whenever we had uh, lynxes that would do that. We had uh, the little mist lynx that would have the tag laser and a large laser and ECM uh, beagle active probe sweep, and all that it would do is. <coughs> jump jet up somewhere high behind the enemy lines and just sit there and tag targets of opportunity and all the missile boats would just jizz in their pants as they launch all the LRMs and get a kill. chance with what? Oh, because it's on Game Pass. Age of Wonders Planetfall. Uh, are you done with your map yet? Oh, still in game. Damn it, just suicide already. Charge the enemy <laughs> lines. <laughs> Hell, I could have downloaded the game and got a launch button. Wish this damn bush would stop getting in my way. That's what she said. <sighs> I was. I resisted as long as I could. <laughs> That's what 
she also said. We need to get a group of us together on State of the Gate 2 so we can go do the daybreak shit. My State of Decay 2 fucking disappeared from my... That kind of pisses me off. Wait, what? My account, my Microsoft account, does not show that I have State of Decay 2. It doesn't even show in my purchase history. I pre-ordered that fucking... Well, hey, 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 match. Um... Mm. Hear me out real quick on this. Um... State of Decay 2. If you just look for State of Decay 2, it's going to say yes. Bye. Don't own it. You have to go in and go to the... Because you bought the Ultimate Edition. You have to go into the State of Decay 2 Ultimate Edition and it should be purchased there. I went under my games and it doesn't show shit. I went under Purchase History, it doesn't show that's what I was going off of. Finally got that bastard. We're about to win, Darius. Can't be that. I'm trying to get good at using the binoculars to aim. Minus five more seconds. <laughs> and that should be game. Okay, mission complete. Where did I land on the list? No, done too bad. Eh, mid board. <laughs> Apparently in June last A is a ditch. It's like a big old pit. Oh, I know. I know exactly what you mean. C and is a gas station. I had never been to C. We're both in tank destroyers. I'm just trying to catch up with you because everyone kept on cutting me off. Uh, I'm not surprised. Up, Bravo.
for that smoke to die down. It's a friendly now. Where are they? Are they left? Ooh, artillery fire. But I'm about to cap Bravo and I don't care. Someone's shooting a lot of fire hard right. Someone let a uh, light tank get on my six. Someone died just ahead of me. I should be seeing a tank here in a moment. To your left, uh, there's a light tank that's been going around behind every single TD. Just to let you know. You shoot me at that guy? Yep. He's dead. This guy is not. I need to back out. I'm getting to look the fuck up. I'm still getting shot. What the hell? Shit ton at B. They're gonna get behind me more than likely. That 30 seconds to do so. You do not have much in the way of support. I don't. I am in route, but... I'm more than likely gonna die here. Yeah. Come on. Air already so I can move. Okay, I can finally move. I'm positioning myself because I know they're gonna flank me. I've got your left flank covered. Unless someone already got oh. through it. I'm looking for him. I wonder how that one tank got behind me a while back. I'm getting to the point. I don't see anybody.
Oh, there is one. Right to my hard left. Hard left? Yep. He's on my left now, but now he's in front of me. Get your nose down, damn it. Am I really stuck on this? I finally got ramped off. Plane shooting at us. Damn, you took the whole building down. That's a calliope. I'm not touching that. Where is he in front of you? Yeah, in front to the left. I'm not touching that shit. I'll go fight him. You'll instant die. I'm looking for him. Yep. Right in front of me. Got a crit on him. He's right in front of me. Got there him. Go. I kept shaking him so he can't get accuracy. Another round came in from behind him. Okay, I'm looking for him. I don't see anything. I just saw the round fly over <laughs> us by a wide margin. Oh, I'm work. getting to the left. I'm, I'm just shaking. In front of us? Yep, dead in front of us. Flank him. Got him. The guy I was fighting at least. Damn. It's a stug and I'm dead. <coughs> you have two tanks that are coming from that right spawn towards your direction. <coughs> We're about to win though.
How many golden eagles did it cost you to buy a bush? I don't remember. I hit. I have like fifty, I think. Yeah, I cap as many points as I can, Darius. So I can put those points towards uh, the tank. Here we go, the free for all. Ooh, God. I saw that. I'm hiding, because my gunner's gone. It's right in the corner of that building. What the fuck? Yep, okay, he had me. Died. That's fair. That's fair. Oh, I was about to flank a guy. And I got the flank. Maybe one. We have an AFK. That Someone who just put something uh, on their W key and they're just going. That's one guy that's not even moving. See, I don't mind AFK players whenever it comes to, you know, not affecting other people. But when you mess with people's games, like, you know, work on your tanks, or Halo, why? Just why? Motherfucker! Bomb. I kept my eyes out for freaking planes. Because I knew for a fact that planes would be the death of me and that since I'm anti-air that would be my job. What somehow sneaks up out of nowhere and kills me? A plane.
apparently. What? Damn. That's a long ass shot. But we got all the points. Welcome back. Did you really have to go to the store and get cigarettes? Or did yes. you want to go to the store and get cigarettes? Had to. Damn, air to air collision. Can our team not hold a fucking line at all? Is that too hard for them? Yes. Then they are pathetic and deserve to die a horrible death. Where's his enemy at?
Uh, I'm just bathing in the fire right now. All good. Except I see a tank to my right and I'm gonna potentially die. That should be game. I got last. Nope, I didn't get last. I got almost last. <laughs> 